AK Geeks. Hey everybody, welcome to AKA Geeks Movie of the Week. This week is a solo venture with you, with with yours truly, me. I'm Sean, you guys. Um, this week's Movie of the Week was Kindergarten Cop 2. <laughs> the original Kindergarten Cop was starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and that was directed by Ivan Reitman. This one is starring Dolph Lundgren and Bill Bellamy. And I'm glad that they're giving Bill Bellamy work these days. <laughs> and this one was directed by Don Michael Paul. Again, I went into this movie trying to indulge myself in it all, indulge my inner child and all the good memories I have of Kindergarten Cop with the, uh, you know, breaking the pencil in the plane, you know, um, the, 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 the line by the boy, boys have penises, girls have vaginas, and uh, just all the other stuff that, you know, comes to mind when I think of Kindergarten Cop, the original one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like I said, this movie was indulging for me. At the same time, I have to look at it from a critical standpoint. Uh, from a critical standpoint, this movie is not something to write home about. It is nothing that's going to win anything, any kinds of awards, Golden Globes, Oscars, nothing, nothing. It's not a great film. It's it's a kiddie film with some tendencies in there that are try to make it a little bit more adult humor in certain instances that they don't really work. Um, I got to say, maybe I chuckled a few times in this film, but it wasn't um, it wasn't laugh out loud funny. I did find the uh, female lead uh, starring um, across from Dolph Lundgren to be very attractive and she did what she could with her role. They definitely tried to play up her um, school teacher vibe and then translate that into sexiness when they go on a date. Um, they, this is partially par, partially kind of what I mean by the adult side of the film. They try to make it a little bit for adults. They go to a bar and they show her on a bowl doing the whole gyration when the bowl's moving and then all of a sudden they're like Boom, they focus in on her midsection, her torso, and her, uh, where, you know, where the goods are, and just show the gyration for a good one and a half seconds, two seconds, and it's like, okay, that was pretty blatant, <laughs> and, and then it backs out again, and it's like, that did not fit, it's like somebody who had the final cut of the film, they like, oh, I'm gonna add this back in there, and they put it back in the film uh, before it got released, um, without anybody knowing, it was kind of weird when they did that. Um, Again, overall, uh, this movie is more for kids. It's very innocent humor. Uh, comparative to the original Kindergarten Cop, you're not gonna get a call of uh, even that type of quality with this film. The, in that film, I recall a lot more time spent with the kids in that film. A lot more time spent growing that bond from with Arnold and the kids. In this one, it was a lot shorter of a time period that Dolph Lundgren spent with the kids, but for some somehow they had this incredible bond with him, the same as like Arnold Schwarzenegger did. Uh, I felt like they could have de they could have developed that relationship a little bit more with the kids, shown more things happening with them. Like in the first one, they had the uh, the, f the 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 speech where they had to step up and do the four score seven years ago. My you know by Abraham Lincoln and all that. They did that in the first one. They didn't do anything like that in this one. They re re recited a poem. A couple times and I gotta say Dolph Lundgren's a terrible terrible detective because uh, there are some hints at what the reason he's there for is what's the where's the answer and he can't figure it out and it's literally you know in his face so um, he's a terrible detective um, there really aren't any emotional relationship building blocks between him and the kids the fun of this film is purely innocent fun innocent fun and it's mostly on a kid level and they try to interject adult humor or adult, um, I don't know, uh, something to appeal to adults, but it doesn't work out very well at all. Overall, if you have Netflix, if you have a nostalgia for Kindergarten Cop, or if you have kids, I think this film would be okay for those audiences. Overall, don't, um, don't spend an hour and 40 minutes of your time with this film. It was an indulgent, a guilty pleasure, something for nostalgia, and that's about it for me. I will not be watching this again. Uh, hopefully you guys take everything I say with a grain of salt before you think about pushing that play button. And for uh, for me, you guys, that's uh, that's all, you guys. Remember to like all of our um, all of our social media pages. Remember to, to go and subscribe to the weekly flagship podcast, the AKA Geeks podcast on iTunes and on Google Play. Uh, we really appreciate that. Um, but for now, remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions, and uh, recommendations for Movie of the Week in the comment section down below. Let's have a great conversation about Kindergarten Cop 2, and I'll see you guys next time.
Peace. AK Geeks.